A campaigning group claims prisoners of conscience in China could still be having organs removed for transplant, despite official denials from the Chinese state that the practice persists. The allegations come from a tribunal set up by the International Coalition to End Transplant Abuse in China. It was chaired by a former war crimes prosecutor. This is what it found. Uh, the report found that there is clear evidence of a supply chain of organs over many years from what it calls an unaccountable source. The tribunal being certain that it was indeed the Falun Gong, a Chinese religious sect who were used as a source, probably the principal source of organs for forced organ harvesting. The report adds that whilst it doesn't have sufficient evidence to reach the same conclusion for the Muslim Uyghur community, it says the vulnerability of the Uyghurs to being used as a bank of organs is also obvious. The Chinese authorities say the practice of taking organs from executed prisoners without their consent came to an end four years ago. Our health correspondent Matthew Hill has this special report. <laughs> This secretly filmed footage captures transplant patients in a Beijing hospital last November. It appears to show transplant patients in a busy waiting room admitting they'd only waited a few weeks to receive their organ. The suspicion is there's a roaring black market in organs. In other countries, it can take years to receive a suitable matching organ, but here it's only weeks. So where are they coming from? China admits it used to take organs from executed prisoners and claims it stopped the practice in 2015. But campaigner Yu Ming believes organs are still being harvested from prisoners of conscience. Falun Gong is a spiritual movement based on meditation, regarded as an illegal sect by China. Over the past year, the tribunals heard from over 50 witnesses and experts, including several former detainees, people like Yu Ming, a Falun Gong follower, who showed the hearing evidence of his badly tortured body. He carried out the secret filming we showed. Falun Gong and Uyghurs from around the world gave their testimony via video link of invasive and unwarranted medical tests in China. Uh, we were given x-ray in that uh, the very huge uh, uh, lab, uh, hospital. We, I remember seeing other non-prisoners, ordinary uh, people also there, and then after our blood uh, was taken, we were escorted back uh, to, to, the, to the cell. Others who testified in person also protested peacefully in London's Chinatown. Then they took me to another place, just used one long tube, they took some blood. There's a great deal of material the hearing concluded prisoners of conscience, primarily Falun Gong, have continued to be killed to order for the purposes of extracting and transplanting their organs for profitable gain. All the witnesses of Falun Gong persuasion who gave evidence to the tribunal were medically tested and tested in a way consistent with discovering the conditions of their organs. China does have a fledgling organ donation scheme, claiming more than half a million people have registered to donate. In a statement, the Chinese government says it always follows the World Health Organization's guiding principles on human organ transplantation. It says human organ donation must be done voluntarily and for free, and it hopes that the British people will not be misled by rumours. But until unannounced inspections are allowed in Chinese hospitals, these campaigners will continue to call for action. Matthew Hill, BBC News.